keep secrets until the time is due and the atmosphere is right to speak you don't have to say and they use it as their gateway into a person's life that mindset becomes a stronghold see the bible tells us not to be ignorant of the devil's devices the word devices there's the word stratomai that means his strategy the strength of satan is not in an ability he has in himself the strength of satan is the advantage of spiritual knowledge that he knows are you getting what i'm saying now it's not like satan is powerful as a person his power is based on the advantage that he was the custodian of the revelations of the kingdom and although he was thrown down he still has that knowledge so there are too many pathways that he can navigate in the spirit to get to a man's life that's what becomes the strength of satan are you following what i'm saying now so satan is very is very smart because he he has knowledge of different pathways to access a believer's life and if we do not know how to shut these doors against him our christian experience may be barren and we may never truly fulfill destiny are we getting blessed strongholds mindsets i wrote a few thoughts about mindsets and let's write them down mindsets are gates i've said that and doorways in the spirit they permit the operation of the holy spirit or the the operation of demons mindsets they are gates and they are doors in the spirit realm that means when satan freely accesses a man's life there is a stronghold that authorizes his operation in that person's life hallelujah when the holy spirit seems to find expression in a person's life among other things there is also a stronghold a mindset that permits his operation number two a man's life is directly or the quality the quality of a man's life is directly tied to his mindset absolutely true proverbs 23 verse 7 it says as a man thinketh in his heart he equates your life to your thought pattern your mindset the quality of a man's life the quality of my life and your life spiritually financially and otherwise the quality of my life is highly dependent on my mindset the bible here says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he as a man thinketh that means that your life revolves around your ideologies please are we learning something tonight that means God can never change your life until he does something about your mindset. Your life is the child that your mindset is birthing or has birthed. And it will continue to birth rubbish according to what is inside until there is a change. Another thing I said about mindsets is that mindsets define our limits and possibilities in life mindsets define our limits and our possibilities in life luke chapter 6 verse 45 luke chapter 6 verse 45 mindsets define our limits that means your limitation in life is according to your mindset and your possibilities in life are also according to your mindset that's the reason why you can have two people same people but there are possibilities that one may be able to do and the other one may not be able to step in the bible says a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth what that which is good and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart that which is evil for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks hallelujah we talk a lot about words and the creative power of spoken words 
But words don't just evolve themselves like that. They are products of ideologies. Men speak according to their perceptions about God, about life, about themselves, about their destinies. Hallelujah. Another thing I want you to know about mindsets is that a man's mindset can limit God in his life. Very serious issue. As mighty as God is, as great as God is, a man's mindset can limit the operation of God in his life. Psalm 78, verse 41. Let's look at something very interesting there. The psalmist was writing about the nation of Israel with Moses. Psalm 78, verse 41. It's God speaking to anybody. It says, Yea, they turned back and tempted God. And they did what? They limited the Holy One. A man can limit God in his life. A man can make God look small in his life. How did they limit God? Let's go to verse 19 and 20. Verse 19 and 20 tells us how they limited God. Still the same Psalm 78. Please let's hurry up. I have a lot to talk about and then I want us to pray. There is so much that God wants to do in our lives. Let's read verse 19. Want to read. Yea, they speak against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? So while they were in the wilderness, they said, does God have that? Yes, I know God is mighty. But based on what I know about him, is he that mighty to make a table in the wilderness? Verse 20. Behold, he smote the rock. I've seen that one. I know he did it. And the waters gushed out. And the streams overflowed. But can he give bread also? Yes, I know that he did this. He healed cancer. But can he really heal HIV? Can he provide meat or flesh for the people? Okay, I understand the logic between water and rock. Maybe some scientific things happen and he just took advantage of science. Amazing. The Bible says they limited God. That means God wanted to do many things. He wanted to show his outstretched arm over the nation of Israel. But their mindsets limited him. There are many of us here in this place that if only we could align, it would be amazing how far God can stretch his hand upon our lives and do wonders in and through our lives. But that one limitation, mindsets, and over time, that ideology has become prolonged. When demons came, they saw that this mindset is the exact doorway that they need to your life. And they fortified it. You know what it means to fortify it? That means to build a fence around it. To make sure that this becomes your thinking pattern no matter what happens. 